So what's going on everybody? Meet him auto with you with a new video detailing you all on the new hog, the new machine, the new bike. So if you haven't seen any of my recent like shorts, you know that you might not know this, but this is my brand new to me 2019 KTM 1290 Super Adventure S. So I sold the Harley and I know I'm probably going to make quite a few of you upset. I've seen that I have lost a few subs because of the change, but it, I knew it was going to happen. I love the bike as much as all of you had, but I felt like it was time for a change. It was time to try something different. You'll know from a while back that I did test ride a Harley Davidson Pan America and honestly I had a lot of awesome things to say about it but I really just didn't really like the look as much as I thought I would and they're still a relatively new bike in the market so the reliability is kind of hit or miss from what I've heard and honestly I have always really liked the look of this 1290 KTM. Um, I like the headlight, the way the Alien headlight looks. I like the overall size, the output, the power, and you know what? When I found one for sale, uh, just driving by, I had to do my best to see if it would work out. And after selling my bike privately to make some more money than um, I would have if I tried to trade it, I decided that you know, I was not going to give up riding. I know this is a very common trope, especially with new dads. My wife and I had twins over winter on Dece in December, and um, it is a pretty common trope that when dads get kids, all of a sudden their toys go away for a while. And my wife would have killed me if I had given up on riding. So. And honestly, I never really wanted to give up riding, but I was planning on taking the year to be like, let's see what we can find. Let's test ride some bikes over the year, you know, over the summer and see what we can find and see if anything really tripped my trigger. But with a promotion at work and this bike being available, I decided that, you know what, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And well, we're here now. So I'm gonna go over some things on this bike because I'm still trying finding things out on it, but I'm going to go over a quick little walkthrough of like what I know is on here. So the brush guards are on here. These are Rottweiler Performance uh, mirrors, uh, Puig uh, sports screen, I believe. It would be called a sports screen. It's a little bit smaller and shorter in general than the uh, standard KTM one. Um, it has the KTM saddlebags or hard bags, panniers, whatever you want to call them. And then an acropotic exhaust that originally came with de decibel killers in there. I went and did the uh, hack and slash method that if you saw a couple shorts ago um, to take the decibel killers out, it honestly was the easiest way to do it and just cleaned it up. Sounds amazing, sounds way better than it did with the decibel killers in. You get a lot more pops and uh, barbels when you desell on this. And so far, I have about a tank of gas through it and this is honestly, dare I say, one of the best bikes I have owned. And I that may be early, early talking, to be honest with you. It could be, completely changed in six months or after I have at least a thousand miles on it. But from the times that I have gotten to ride it to work, it is set up so amazingly for the price point. So a stock bike brand new was about 18. Um, but when you get to getting down to the nitty gritty of it, you have a 1301 CC twin that makes 160 horsepower at the crank with 100 foot-pounds of torque about midway through the RPM. So it's very linear power. You have four ride modes, at least on this one I have four ride modes. You have sport, street, uh, rain, and off-road. 
Same with the suspension. The suspension is an electronically adjustable one. So it electronically adjusts the rear suspension depending on how much load you're putting on it as well as the front. So if I have just me, it's pretty light. But if I have full saddlebags, I can adjust the preload electronically. Or if I have full bags and a passenger, fully adjustable, fully dampening, electronically, on the fly, all that amazingness. It is sweet. And I wish that this bike didn't have the, I guess, the stigma that it's a very dad jeans, very, I guess you could say old old man bike in a way, but it's not quite the old man bike like a Harley is or anything like that. I am very much so happy with it at this point, and I hope you guys stick around for the channel to see what else we do with it. I'm excited to go on some trips with it if I get the opportunity. Right now with a couple of four month old babies, it's a little bit harder to find time to uh, go out and do something like that for a long weekend, but it's not out of the question. Um, I'm really, really, really happy that this came together. Um, it has been a very enjoyable bike and I hope you guys actually will stick around for the channel. I still love Harleys. I'm still going to be riding Harleys. I mean, I, was, I have a bunch of buddies that still are going to hound me whether I'm not or not I'm going to get another Harley and that really depends on where things are financially. But at some point I will probably have a Harley Davidson back in the stead for just a different type of riding. This type of riding though for what I do with going to work, I wanted saddle bags or hard bags. I wanted power, I wanted efficiency, I wanted comfort, and this really hits home on a lot of things and is kind of the best of everything that I could want. Now the only thing is, is it, is it have the same character as the Harley, the Road Glide? Not really, but character can only win you so much, in my opinion, and this bike beats the Road Glide in a lot of the other areas. Overall, just better life for me right now and I'm very happy with it um, yeah and I hope like I said you guys are willing to stick around and check out the channel check out watch the watch the channel maybe you'll find some more of you now instead of it just being a Harley content channel we are an ADV channel I'd love to get another set of wheels for this so that I could do some off-roading and go out to like the Black Hills and explore some of the trails out there um, that's a to come. That is definitely not a right here, right now sort of thing. I still am trying to feel out this bike and get comfortable with it, but I am very much so enjoy it. Really love the look, really love the feel of it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys stick around, watch the channel still. I'm still going to be doing test rides. I really want to still throw the leg over bikes. If you guys have any bikes, ADV, sport bikes, Harleys, that you want me to throw a leg over and make me regret buying this bike, I'm all open to suggestion. But as of right now, this is the new Steed, the new machine, the new to me KTM 1290 Super Adventure S, the SAS. Yeah. So appreciate your time, appreciate you checking out the channel, and I will see you in the next one.